Cult of the Lamb, roll credits, let's go. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in. It's time to play some Cult of the Lamb here. We played a little bit on stream. You can see that save file above there. If you haven't checked out the stream, make sure you do. We stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I figured we could do a YouTube series for at least a few videos of Cult of the Lamb here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you have not seen it, it's a very cute roguelike colony simulator. Praise the Lamb. Conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. One of the first things you'll notice about the game is just how gorgeous and cute it is. Look at our cute little lamb here. Look at these cute little heretics, cultists here. We're going to play through the intro, jump right into it if we can. We cannot roll or do anything. Such a cute little game. So good. I guess we'll need to be sacrificed. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others have hunted. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. Come closer, fear not, for though you have already dead, I still have need of you. The foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Uh, yes, or absolutely. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cult of the Lamb, roll credits. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna kind of blaze through the tutorial here. You can see that we attack, we have a dodge roll. Enemies telegraph their attacks here, so we just gotta be careful about that. We'll go ahead and take care of that. And get cruising. Ooh. Oh, hey man. Get right back into it, into the colony simulator here. So you're gonna be able to go through kind of like dungeons like this, and you're gonna be able to farm resources that you're gonna bring back to your colony, your cult. It's kind of got a floor layout, a la Slay the Spire. Ratu! If you're not, I am Ratu. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. All right, Ratu. My man just tunneled out of here. So you can see, like, the environment's pretty destructible here. Enemies coming in hot. Oh, ouch. Enough of that, please. Thank you. Yep. You can, like, stagger enemies, too, which is nice. Cleared that. We got a chest. We got a gold coin. Let's open the inventory here. There's our gold coin. We have one of them. I don't know if we're gonna get a lot of uh, craftable materials here in the intro. Oop. All 
All right, got him. Very nice. So you can see we can go two ways here. Go to the north. Oh, got more enemies. Woo! Dodge, roll, baby. Get out of the way. Ha! Okay. Nice. Uh, let's go back to the other door here and see what this was about. Oh, more enemies. All right, done ski done arena. Just a dinner. We got a gold coin for our troubles. Very nice. Carrying on. Nothing over here. Just straight to the north again. Hey, more gold coins. Again, I just cannot stress how beautiful this game looks. So cute here. All right, let's get our first cultist, shall we? Ah, we've ne nearly reached sa safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, they'll have no choice but to join your cult. Almighty bishops of the old face, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts this ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Let's go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ooh, dodge roll. All right. Because we're still in the tutorial, wants to make sure that I get the dodge down. We got wave-based combat here. Done. Let's rescue this poor deer. I think it is. Bye-bye. Adios. Follower awaits indoctrination. We have reached safety. You've done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to the temple that has fallen in ruin. There will be there. You will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. All right. Thank you, Ratu. Meet me there. Cleanse the, the non-believers. Nice. Not too shabby. All right, we're going to play it on uh, medium because it is the developer recommended settings there. There's Ratu again. The hollow ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating the poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Fair enough. Let's go indoctrinate. Please spare me. All right, so we're actually going to name this cultist. We're going to name this cultist out of one of the most um, avid commenters on the channel, channel here, Pfizer Gal. We're going to randomize the appearance here. Pfizer tends to like red. So actually, let's choose form. For Visor, we're going to make Visor a red. What other forms do we have unlocked? Just the deer, huh? And these basic forms. Let's go with this one and she likes red. Do we have a red option? We sure do. Perfect. And what are, what do we have for variants? We'll give her an eye scar. Perfect. And visor is materialistic. So we'll gain faith when building better sleeping quarters and is sickly heals 15% slower when sick and in bed rest. All right, visor. Welcome to the cult. Ah. Welcome on in visor gal visor. You're going to go chop trees for me. Thank you indoctrinated the followers by your hand the cult will grow powerful but your followers cannot live in prayer alone they must eat gather necessary resources to build a cooking fire okay let's go ahead and he's chopping wood so we need to gather some stone she visor is a she is gathering wood for me gather some stone here go help visor chop down this tree We need five lumber. Got it. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and build the cooking station. And I want the cooking station up here. Seems fine. So now we got to build it. So you see the kind of uh, colony management simulation that we got here. Make some food. Yeah. All right. That's just telling us that we can gather food while we're out on the trail in, in the trials. And you can see in the upper left corner, the hunger meter of the cult. 
As a cult get, cultist gets hungry, they can get sick, they can revolt. We're going to gather some berries here because we need to cook a meal. All right, we got some berries. Go to the cooking station. Make a basic berry bowl. Let's cook it. Bang. Little mini game. It is now cooked. Visor's going to go eat it. Now we must build a shrine, but first you'll need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to the realms. It's your task to track them down and slay them so he might be freed. Now go, and you shall find gold and willing recruits for those who... And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. Okay, we will. We'll do it. Don't worry, man. I got you, Ratu. All right, let's go out and do a quick little crusade. Return to the lands of the old faith. Return with more gold and return with more followers. Perfect. And the Bider's going to eat her food and then go ahead and chop down some more lumber for me. So I believe this is the first door here. It is because it opens the door with one follower. And that's what we have. There's your visor opening the door for us. Very nice. Thank you, visor. You may go back and chop more trees now. I will allow it. All right. And away we go to the dark wood. All right. We got three HP. Let's grab the Crusader's Blade here. All right. Probably your average all-rounder weapon. Let's get to it. Oh, easy. No, stop it. All right, got him done. Oh, spiders. Oh, spiders give you morsels. That's right. The morsels are good food. They also steal your stuff as well. All right, we can go to the north here. Let's see what's up here. More enemies. Perfect. Got him. Very nice. And it's just a dead end. So we'll head back to the other room. The maps are not overly complicated here. Let's see, we can break some of the stuff. We got a little bit of grass there that we can use for other things while we're in the cult. I'm not going to be spending all my time breaking things. See that squirrel? If we break him, we get food. He's meat. The meat is good. All right, broke all them. Nice. Okay. How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet you stand here before me unrepentant of the crown. His power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. All right, Leshy, I'm coming for you, man. All right, got two paths. Oh, this is Clowneck. Cloud neck. Praise the lamb, the conduit to great power. Promised liberator, the one who waits below. So the card showed me once many lifetimes ago. I have always drawn cards, lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. Basically, crusade modifiers here. So our modifier here is we're going to get one blue heart, which is a temporary heart that we get only for this crusade. If you played uh, The Binding of Isaac, think a la soul hearts. And these are all of the tarot cards that we have unlocked here. I'm not sure what all of them do. And I know that there are holographic variants as well. Cannot argue the draw. All right, let's go. Thank you. So you can see there, we now have four HP, one of them being like a green-ish heart. Ouch, we took a hit. No, we did not take a hit there. Nice. All right, carrying on. All right, so we got a tarot card here. It's going to be a modifier. Which is it? Telescope, reveal the map. Well, we're at the boss. We're at the end of the level, so not super helpful. Let's go ahead and fight the boss of this crusade. Or not the boss. This takes us to the next floor here. Do we want lumber or do we want stone? Probably stone because Visor is back at the cult collecting lumber. Here's the stone. Got a little bit of gold nuggies as well. Got some stone. You can see we have 17 stone. Very nice. 
chop this down and gather some grass potentially. Grass is used to make uh, sleeping bags for our cult members here. All right, let's go ahead and fight the mini boss. Now we have to get to the mini boss. You can see it kind of revealed the map in the upper right hand corner there. Ouch. Don't touch me. Thank you for not touching me. Crusader's Blade 2. It's just a straight upgrade. So let's go ahead and get that. Very nice. And now we can recycle this and get a piece of gold. See if we get any sort of consumables here. Ooh, we got the birds. So we got a piece of meat. Very nice. Oh, easy. Enough. Woo, spicy. All right, got both of them. We got one left over here. We got hiding in the grass. Got him. Gold nuggets, let's go. All right, carrying on. Squirrel. I don't know if the squirrel can, if you don't do enough damage to it, it'll just leave the map. But we got him. All right, more gold. Got lots of grass. At some point, the skeletons will give you bones to use for rituals and stuff. We'll get to there. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. Hey, we got Clown Neck again. Let's go ahead and give us a modifier here. 10% uh, chance of gaining a heart while killing an enemy or overall weapon damage. Yeah, give me the weapon damage, please. Let's go. All right. Got some combat in this room here. Oh, is this a mini boss? All right, Leshy, what's up? Hi, you've come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? All right. By the blood of the Grave Ones, destroy the Red Crown. All right, Leshy, calm down. Man, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll show your man a thing or two. Whoa, all right. Well, that's quite the transformation there. Ouch. Looked like we got some iframes. So he does a charge and he does a little spray. Got him, all right. No problemo. Convert him. You're coming with me. I'm Deucius. Convert me to your cult and I'll follow your teachings faithfully. Chad, this is a good reminder that if you want to be a cultist in my cult, all you have to do is leave a comment down below. So let me know if you're enjoying the game or what you think about it, and we'll pick you potentially out of the comments in the next episode to be a member of the cult. Trust me, you want to be a member of my cult. You do. You do. All right. Uh, choose a blueprint. A acquired tree stump lamb statue. A lamb carved of wood. Decoration. Three wood. Very nice. All the gold. Perfect. All right, take me out. All right, you can see one out of four of these little mini bosses before we get to take on Leshy in the Darkwood. Heretics defeated! Cleanse the non-believers. That's all the stuff we get to bring back to our cult with here. And we get one more cult member. So this cult member, we're not going to pick anybody out of the struggle bus crew here. But remember, if you want a chance to be in the cult, just leave a comment down below. Yes, Ratu, let us indoctrinate this other follower. Let's indoctrinate them to the cult. Amducius, we're gonna leave you as you are. You're a germaphobe. Uh oh. You're a natural skeptic, but you're faithful. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually gonna have you chop stone, Amducius, if you don't mind. Thank you. Hi, your followers for work and worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion requires a shrine. Okay, guess who wants me to build a shrine? Let's go ahead and do that. Build the shrine. Do see you're a little late there. There it is, the shrine to the lamb. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. 
then collect devotion. Your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. All right, I feel like this is a good point to go ahead and leave it here. If you want to win an option to become this cult member here and be indoctrinated into our cult, make sure you leave a comment down below, but that's all I got for you for now, YouTube. So as always, be excellent to each other, be good to yourself, and I'll see you in the fog. Bye-bye.